Imagine what your immediate surroundings looked like a hundred years ago. Maybe there wasn't even a house standing on your property. A photographer from Ontario learned a lot about how Montreal used to look by following in the footsteps of a famous photographer from the city and taking photos in the very same spots. Now, even though the two photographers took nearly identical pictures, they never met because they were separated by a century. Abbey Road looked like this in 1969 and like this in 1993 taking a picture in the same place with the same camera angle as in an older picture is called re-photography and the process may change the way you look at Montreal. It might be hard to recognize this view as Montreal if you saw a picture of it a hundred years ago. A recent photograph shows how office buildings dominate the landscape, hiding much of the Victoria Bridge. A century ago, a picture showed quite a different scene, with nothing hiding the bridge. It's the very same view of the city with the difference of a hundred years. Come together, right now, over me. Photographer William Notman owned a studio at the turn of the century. Notman and his staff preserved the old city by taking thousands of pictures of it. The reason he took these photographs, principally, um, was for the tourists. Tourists at the time did not have cameras. Photography was a very complicated art and they, they did, did not have the means to take photographs. Senior cataloger Nora Haig of the McCord Museum says the museum owns the entire Notman Studios collection. They show the progress of Montreal. Um, the pictures were taken just in the peak uh, developmental period of Montreal as the commercial center of Canada. The main aim Notman was trying to get across in his photographs was the uh, new, modern, uh, well-developed industrial potential of a new country. Professional photographer Andrzej Maciejewski also admires the Notman photos, so much that he set out to re-photograph them. He spent months looking through the photos and visiting the pictured locations to see if new photographs could be taken in the same spots. The old photograph here was taken in 1916, and this, this place is called Belvedere, and it's a very touristy place uh, used Basically, it's a lookout place to, to look at Montreal. The interesting thing is that people still come to this place this, just the same way as they did before. It's just that they are dressed differently and also that they take a lot of pictures. So it's a, it's a busy place and it's a lot of snapshots taken from here. In the old photograph, people dress much heavier. And uh, it's the same season. I took this photograph in September and uh, Notman took it in September as well but uh, people dress much lighter now and also a lot of uh, running shoes and sport sort of uh, outfits. There was a building, I don't know what it was used for, but it's, that building is gone. Andrzej has taken great care, extreme care, to get himself in exactly the same position at exactly the same time of day, if he can possibly do it, uh, to take exactly the same photograph of exactly the same scene and it's, it's been done before but nobody's done it with such accuracy before really figuring out exactly when and where the photograph was taken and sometimes the viewpoint that Notman used isn't there anymore so Andre has got as close as he can to the nearest equivalent. To be able to re-photograph a scene something from the old picture must still be present to use as a point of reference. Let's say there's a, a building on the old photograph and if, if it's the same building still there and you can see, let's say, one corner of the window on both of them, that's your point of reference. And then you have to make sure that this, this particular point is in the same spot on both, both images. <laughs> sort of complicated. If Maciejewski wasn't happy with his results, he'd try again. There's one of uh, St. Paul Street with the very distinct shadow of one of the buildings on the street. And... Uh, the difficult part was that I had to be on the side with, with the camera and I didn't want to have any cars parked in front of me. And of course I had to f take it within maybe five minutes because the shadow would change. So I would just have to be lucky that nobody parks just for that five minutes. I mean if they go away later it's too late. And also the clouds. I mean if the clouds came over the sun within those five minutes I had to come back next day or maybe even next year. I tried it I think five times. Yeah. And uh, well the last one was successful. It took three years to re-photograph 34 old pictures. Once you're successful with choosing the, the vantage point for, for the photograph 
you are sure that you are standing exactly in the same place where a photographer was standing 100 years ago. And that's, that's quite exciting. And also, once you wait for the light, um, you also know that he was there at the same time of day, and more or less the same time of, of, the, of the year. Actually, I, quite often I, I would just stand there and sort of imagine that I was that photographer 100 years ago, and what would I do in the meantime, or like, what would it feel like to be there? And what was the smell, or what people were you know, doing, and so on. Some historical places look nearly the same after a century. This photograph was taken by William Notman in about 1895, and it's uh, showing the Notre Dame Cathedral. And actually this place hasn't changed that much over those hundred years, because uh, the only new part is the building that is in between church and uh, the old building here. So it's, uh, it's almost the same, and actually it's used in the same way as well, because the, there used to be a carriage stand uh, for horse carriages there, and now it's a taxi stand which is used for the same purpose, to, to get people somewhere else. And also there's some, some horse carriages still going on for, for tourists here, so it looks, uh, looks almost the same. This mansion looks similar too, but the former private home now has a different purpose, as a hospital. I find it interesting that uh, the gate is just wider. It's the same gate, the same post, but one post is gone, simply because we have cars which are wider now and uh, everything else is the same. The McGill University Library, once a place for quiet reading, now echoes with music and voices. It's all the same walls, the same place, the same, the same building, but it's used as a music hall. The former stock exchange had changed so much he almost couldn't find the room. Then he noticed the doors of the exchange picture were the same as the doors in this theater. It used to be a stock exchange dealing with, with money and commercial sort of place, and now it's a uh, place for arts. Progress is progress. Things will change. If it didn't change, Montreal wouldn't be the lively place that it is. I think that the city hasn't changed that much altogether because the life sort of goes on the same way. It's quite amazing. Uh, one of the photographs shows the park and uh, 100 years ago the, the, the park bench was in, in particular space and now it's a new park bench but it's sitting in the same spot and people are sitting on it just like 100 years ago, they have their lunch, whatever, and basically it hasn't, hasn't changed much. I mean, except, of course, for the, for the outside of the buildings and for, for the shell of it, I mean, for the, for the look of the city. Some people who see the pictures find themselves a little changed by the experience. We've just lost a lot of that feeling of openness and freedom uh, that was there in the old days. In some of the photos, not for many of them, but in a couple of them, you have to look really close to to, to tell which one is which one is actually the older one, because uh, you know in some of them they, they, they there isn't really that much of a difference. But in most of them, you know, the contrast is incredible. The you know the cars and the development of the city. I think we should care about uh, about where we came from and what it looked like previously, so we can see whether we think we progressed or not. Machayevsky wonders if people from a hundred years ago would like the Montreal of the new millennium. I was actually thinking at one point, what would Notman think if he saw it? Actually, right here, you know, if you were standing here 100 years later, if you would like it, if you would like the view, and, and I thought that he would because he was very progressive. The photographer also wonders how Montreal would strike him 100 years from now. I don't want it to change too much. <laughs> and it would be nice if somebody 100 years from now uses whatever technique they'll be using by then, presumably some form of digital photography, uh, to make maybe 3D laser versions of exactly the same thing. I think it would be very interesting again to see the changes even 100 years from now. I, I wish someone did something like that 100 years from now.